Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about how we can make use of ChatGPT to perform requirement traceability matrix of our software quality test cases and automated test case that we write in our daily life. If you remember in our earlier video, we discussed about a scenario, something like this, where we have a bank account opening scenario where the user should be 18 years and old and he should be trying opening an account in the computer browsers, mobile phone, going to the branch or to the kiosk or directly applying in the branch using all these different uh, verification, identification documents, something like that. You remember all these test cases that we wrote, something like this, and we used ChatGPT to, to write a lot of manual testing scenarios. Now we are gonna do a bit further where we're gonna use all these scenarios. We're gonna ask ChatGPT to write the scenarios for us in version 3.5, and then we'll use the same test case scenarios that we have written and paste it into ChatGPT4 to ask us to verify if the requirement matches the test cases which is being generated in 3.5 in GPT-4 so that GPT-4 can tell us that there are even more different ways that you can write the scenarios and try increasing more number of scenarios. So that way you can see that GPT-4 is not only giving us the scenarios but it's also gonna help us to identify some of the missing test cases and scenarios that you can really potentially write for that. That is what this whole idea of this particular video is. I'm going to quickly show you how this is going to look like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same scenario that you just saw on the slide and then I'm going to use GPT-5 to actually write all these scenarios for us in the BDD format. So you can see that we know that we have already seen this particular scenario where GPT-3.5 is going to keep writing all the scenarios for us and that is what I'm going to be doing this time. You can see that there are all these scenarios which are being generated over here. I can probably do one more time like continue so that it can keep writing those scenarios for us and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to copy all these scenarios and then I'm going to paste that to GPT-4 and I'm going to say can you verify if all these scenarios that we have got is actually matching the requirement traceability matrix or not so I'm just going to go back to our GPT-4 which is this one and I'm going to paste the complete scenario over here. So I'm just going to stay over here. The only thing which I'm going to say additionally over here is if you just scroll down a bit, you will notice that I have told GPT that perform requirement traceability of the above requirement with the below scenario. So basically I'm saying that this is the requirement and these are the scenarios that I have written. Just GPT tell me whether these scenarios that I have written is really covering all the requirement which is given to us or not. It's pretty much like the requirement traceability matrix. And you can see that now GPT is starting to write a requirement traceability matrix for us. So what it's trying to do is like it is writing all the requirements for us and then it is trying to write all the scenarios on the right hand side. So let's see if they are really matching for us based on our requirement or not. And you can see that in this particular scenario, you say that the user can open an account in kiosk and this scenario is currently not being covered. So GPT can go and analyze all of our scenarios and it can also tell that this particular requirement is not really covered in the test scenario that we have got. So this test scenario can be our automated scenario or either a manual testing scenario. So using this particular feature, we can ask GPT to really go and analyze whether this particular requirement is really covered or not, which is awesome really, because this is one of the most time consuming process, which we always end up figuring out whether the test case that we have written, like all the manual test cases is really covering the requirement that we have got or not. So this RTM is a very time consuming process and we could potentially avoid that a bit using GPT or something like this. And it's also telling me that it's worth noting that some of the requirements is not covered in this particular scenario like the one related to opening the account in the kiosk and there is an additional requirement like continuation number is also not covered. I intentionally did that in 3.5 because in GPT 3.5 those uh, scenarios are not going to be written and that's the reason why I created the scenarios over there. So now we can ask GPT that can you try covering the missing scenarios then create a requirement traceability matrix. So now you can see that once I ask that, GPT is now starting to write all the missing scenarios, which is something not covered based on the requirement. So that is the first thing that it is going to do. And once we have got all the scenarios, hopefully we're also going to get all the requirement traceability matrix over here. So I'm just quite excited to see what is really going to happen. So finger crossed if GPT-4 can do that or not for us. So 
So now you can see that the GPT can actually analyze all our requirements that we have got and it tells that for every scenarios we have really covered whether the age is above 18 or not and then it tells that the user should be verified via Aadhaar card, Ration card or at least one of the uh, at least with a passport or driving license that says that all the scenarios except user aged 18 or above for opening the account is not covering this particular feature. So you can see that GPT-4 can actually go through each and every scenarios, analyze whether the scenarios is really covering this particular specific feature or not that we have in the requirement and ensuring that it is really missing any of the scenarios in the requirement traceability matrix. If so, it is also helping us creating all those missing scenarios over here in a much greater detail. And then it is creating an amazing dashboard over here, pretty much like a uh, full table which tells me like what we actually have to do so we can also tell some more that can you uh, cover more edge cases in the above requirement and create scenarios along with requirement traceability matrix so if I keep digging as granular as possible you can see that it is also going to start some more scenarios like user attempts to open an account in a non-metro city pretty much like all the negative scenarios so it is going to go on each and every functionalities of this particular opening account all the edge cases and then it is also going to add them in our requirement traceability matrix so now that we will have a complete detail of what this particular functionality is doing whether all these functionalities are covered in our automated as well as in the manual testing and then we'll have those entire details this is really really a mind-blowing task to be honest and everything is really covered over here in gpt and this is quite awesome to be honest so it is again a scary thing once again but this is one of the most important babysitting work that we all the time do it if we have a grander visibility of this whole operation that we always do in our automation as well as manual testing and if we could use potential of tools something like this we will know that some of the missing requirement that we have uh, in our automation testing can be easily automated or not can be done much easily using tools something like this so that is the real power that i wanted to show in this particular video and once again thank you so much for watching this videos guys just let me know what you think about all these feature which is coming up from the gpt and i know how scary it is but also how useful it is please let me know we'll talk about that in our upcoming videos thank you